do not mourn when God redirects you. You could have been someone who was given a very specific prophecy. You could be someone who was given a very specific directive. But if God sees what is happening in real time and redirects, will you be willing to listen to the Lord redirecting you? Prophecy cannot be about pride. It cannot be about accuracy. It cannot be about our reputation as prophetic people. When God makes a commandment, it is attached to human obedience and cooperation. So if a person has been selected by God, if God has chosen a person, that person must continually act according to the will of God, lest they be out of alignment, lest they cost themselves their appointment and their anointing. Even as someone formerly chosen by God, Saul's disobedience disqualified him from continuing as the ruler of a nation. If a man in leadership cannot follow the Lord's commands, let him be replaced with one that will. In all instances, God is seeking after rulers who are seeking after his own heart. I say all of that to say, when we look at our leadership, when we look at how God has prophesied things to come, we must know that we prophesy in part and we know in part. There are mysteries of the universe that we will never fully understand because we are not God. It requires a lot of humility to sit in the seat of a prophet or to be a prophetic person. And in this season, it is not for us to predict how an election will end. It is for us to align our hearts with what God is trying to do on the earth. The enemy would love for us to create a false dichotomy that it is this candidate against another, when in reality, the choice is following God or not. And so, as you vote, I will not tell you which way to vote. I do not want you to erect a God in the form of a political party or even elect a person based on a single issue. God is so much bigger than the issues that we have tried to boil him down to. To my pastors, to my leaders, to my prophetic elders in the church, I pray that we will pray the right prayers as we pray for our nation, as we pray for our world, as we pray for the issues that ail it. Help us, Lord, to pray prayers that are aligned with what you want to do in this earth. God, forgive us for the times where we have prayed from our own selfish ambition. We have prayed for our own political gain. Father, if there is anyone on any side, on any party, that does not have a heart that seeks after yours, I pray that they be unseated. If there is any person who will not cooperate with the things that you would have set forth on this earth, I pray that they be removed. Father, if there are people who have a heart of justice that have not yet been elected or put in positions of power, Father, I pray that you elevate them. Lord, give us a heart for the things that grieve you. Give us a heart of justice. Help us to be brave and to say the things that you would have us say. Fill our mouth with truth. Fill our hearts with conviction. And Father, may this earth look like the world that you would have it be. Guide us, Father. Be with us. Protect us. And Father, let your will be done in this earth as it is in heaven.